How's it going, folks? I'm David Webster with HRP Associates, Senior Environmental Health and Safety Consultant, um, also a certified safety professional, and I handle a lot of the industrial hygiene side of things up here in the Farmington, Connecticut location. And today we're gonna to be talking about the D-Badge 2 dosimeter for noise sampling. This is good for personal noise exposures and putting those on your workers who are at risk of noise exposure. So we're just gonna walk you through how to use the samples, how to calibrate them, and, and basically the process of forming a time-weighted average. So, first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the sample by holding down the upper right key. The sample's gonna power on, and then we have our interface there. So you can just scroll through it there, see the data. Uh, prior to sampling, make sure it's fully charged, and then we like to clear the data. So. That can all be done via the computer interface uh, through the Casella program for these D-Badge 2s. So you plug it in prior to sampling, clear the data out. So um, now we take our samples out, we're in the field, we have our workers that need noise exposure sampling. Uh, we're gonna attempt to sample them. But first off, we need to uh, remove the windscreen, like so, just pops right off. And we need to calibrate it. So this is our pre-calibration. So you're gonna turn this on. It's gonna kind of make a little audible noise. We're calibrating to 114 decibels. We're gonna place the calibrator over it. And then eventually it's gonna come up on the interface. Do you wanna calibrate it to 114? You're just gonna click the upper right button for yes and it's gonna start self calibrating. And it's gonna tell you cal okay, done. I'm gonna remove that, turn our calibrator off. Place the windscreen back on. Now, we're ready to begin our sampling. So we go up to our worker. Whoever needs sampling, whoever we maybe identified needs sampling due to um, a new noise source, um, maybe a job hazard analysis, um, some, some other hazard analysis technique that has led us to believe that this worker is exposed to noise. And we're really, what, what the dosimeters are good for is gonna be determining that eight hour time weighted average or determining that short noise um, impulse sound that maybe over 15 minutes that they're exposed to. Um, so, or, or developing uh, what noise exposures are for certain tasks. Um, this is what these are really gonna be good for. So first off, we're gonna look to begin our sample. To do so, we're gonna hold down the upper right and left buttons, give it three seconds. It's gonna start. Now we're recording. We're good to place that on a worker's shoulder. Uh, just a little tip, you can lock these um, so the worker won't bump into it or maybe turn it off on accident. So by to do so, you hold down the upper right key and press the left power button three times. So now we have a little lock symbol. The sample's locked. Um, same way to turn it off, hold down that upper right key uh, and then hit the left button three times. And that's how you unlock it. Then we're gonna look to clip it into place on the worker's shoulder next to their ear. Kind of a little difficult to do on my own, but maybe you want to have it higher up on the worker near their ear, kind of up here. And you're going to let them, now they're free to roam for the day, do whatever typical tasks they would do, or maybe we're sampling a specific task, we're going to have it on them that entire time. The eight hour time weighted average that we're looking to get, so maybe a full work day, or we can look to keep it on the worker for a specific task. We're going to unclip it at the end of the sampling event. We're gonna pause the sample, unlock our sample. We're gonna hold down that right key and press the power button in the upper left corner three times to unlock. All right, now we're gonna turn it off by holding down both the power button and the upper right selection key. And now our sample's off. So then I like to manually record the data just to be on the safe side so that the, uh, that the dosimeter may not, you know, if it loses the data or something like that, I have it right here. So I usually record the data right away on a piece of paper. Now we're gonna uh, perform our post calibration sample. Basically the same way as our pre calibration sample, remove the windscreen. This basically assures the validity of our data. So we're gonna turn it on, place the calibrator over it. Give it a second. Now we're gonna get the check mark. We're gonna hit 114 decibel calibration. Press the check mark, let it do its thing. Now we're gonna have cal okay done. That's good, that's what we want. Remove the calibrator, turn it off. Now we have our post calibration. We're gonna record that, 114 decibels in this case. 
Um, if the calibration failed, then we would basically invalidate all our sampling data. A post calibration came back as invalid or off, it would basically, we would have to get rid of our sample results. And then we can just turn it off by holding the upper left key, place the windscreen back on, and be sure to download your data, delete the data for the next uh, sampling event, and make sure it's charged. So now that we're done with our sampling, we place the Casella D-Badge dosimeter back on the charging port. From there, it can be linked up via a USB to your computer and the Casella program. Uh, from there, data can be downloaded, interpreted, and deleted and further managed. Um, this will allow us to generate a report and document the noise exposure um, and, and perform all necessary record keeping. Um, this, this exposure can then be compared to our OSHA time-weighted average and noise levels and also fulfill our record keeping requirements from OSHA. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to see the other services we provide.